Right, so today I'm going to be overseeding and top dressing the front lawn. Now, uh, a few weeks ago, I scarified the lawn. I put some seed down uh, and I put a little bit of topsoil just where the bare patches were. Now, the issue is, is that we've had quite a bit of frost over the past few weeks and not a lot of this seeds come through so i've been looking online and lots of people have been saying that compost is a really good way to top dress a lawn now this jack's magic one i've heard some really really good stuff about so we're going to be putting a bit of seed down a bit of compost down and hopefully we'll have the lawn looking superb in the next couple of weeks so let's get to it right so as you can see the lawn isn't in the worst of conditions but there are lots of bare patches and rough spots throughout which definitely need to be overseeded now, about three weeks ago, I scarified this lawn for the first time, and because it's slightly uneven, there's some high spots and low spots, the scarifier just seems to chew into those high spots on the lawn. So they definitely need to be overseeded. But also as well, the whole lawn could just do with being overseeded because there are a few weeds and things that I've had to take out over the past couple of weeks. So hopefully getting more seed down and more grass in place, it'll mean less space for those weeds to grow and to thrive in the lawn. So we started off by cutting the lawn on the second lowest setting on the lawnmower. Now, a couple of days ago, I did go over this grass with the lawnmower on a slightly higher setting. And the reason for this is that I knew I'd be cutting the grass today and I didn't want to take too much of that grass blade off. I didn't want to stress out the grass that was already there because it seemed to be doing quite well. So I put it on the second lowest setting and just did one pass over the lawn. This will mean it'll be easier for the seed to fall down to the soil level below and also it'll be easier to rake in the compost too. The grass seed that I'm using to overseed the front lawn is from A1 Lawns and it's their Premiership Pro grass seed mix. Now, this is the exact same grass seed that I've used on my back lawn and I've used it to establish a brand new lawn altogether grown from seed. Now, that video is on my channel and it is part of my garden renovation series. So if you'd like to check out any of the other parts in that series, for example, when I built a retaining wall, when I laid the patio, you can click on the description below or head over to my channel where you'd find the playlist of videos on there. I'm also using the Scott's Drop Spreader again today to apply the seed to the lawn. Now this spreader is really, really versatile. I've used it before to apply fertilizer and I've used it as well to drop grass seed. Now when it comes to applying fertilizer to your lawn, you don't need it on a very high setting because usually the fertilizer is quite small. With the grass seeds being a bit of a funny shape, you do have to have the holes open quite wide. So you'll see that I've opened the setting so that it's on 16, which is one of the higher settings on the drop spreader. But this just means that a good even distribution of seeds will drop out of the dropper below. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, I am using the Jack's Magic Compost to top dress the lawn. There's lots of different videos out there and articles telling you what sort of things you should be using to top dress a lawn, whether that be sand, a mixture of topsoil and sand, just topsoil itself, or even compost like I'm using today. Now, from all the videos that I've seen online, the best results seem to be coming from compost. I've never personally used compost to top dress a lawn. I've traditionally only ever used topsoil. So I'll be really interested to see how the grass comes on in the next few weeks. With all the organic matter that there is in compost, it's meant to give the grass a really good boost, especially now with it being spring. And it's the time when the grass is just starting to pick back up as we're moving into the warmer seasons. As you'll be able to see, I've not exactly got any fancy equipment or any fancy tools to spread the compost out on the lawn. All I'm doing is taking out the bag and just breaking it up between my hands and spreading it that way. Now, for the most part, this compost was fairly broken up and it wasn't too clumpy. 
There were a few sticks in there and the odd bit of wood, but for the most part, these broke down quite easily in my hand, which means that if I leave some of the twigs and some of the sticks on the lawn, they're probably gonna break down anyway within the next few weeks. All I did was after applying a little bit of the fertilizer, I went along with the rake and I just raked it in just so that the tips of the grass were sticking out at the top. Now I did start by using the forked end of the rake to begin with, but this seemed to be ripping out parts of the grass because the rake that I had was quite sharp. So what I did was I resorted to using the back of the rake, which just seemed to spread the compost much more evenly across the lawn. And what it helped to do as well as as I was scraping the back of the rake across the lawn, it was just breaking up any of those larger clumps just into smaller, more manageable pieces that could be spread much more easily. And as I've mentioned, it's really important for the grass to be sticking out of the compost. This is the same for any sort of top dressing that you apply to your lawn. Because if you smother the grass, all it's gonna do is kill those grass blades and you'll end up with more bare patches in your lawn. There we go, it's been overseeded. So that's top dressing of the Jack's Magic compost. So what I'm gonna do now is give it a bit of a water and then hopefully in the next couple of weeks, two, three weeks, some of the seed starts to germinate and this lawn will start to thicken up. Now, next one is the verge at the front. Just beyond that fence there, there's a patch of grass that I'm gonna be overseeding. Now, I hope you found this video useful. As ever, if you've got any ideas or any feedback for me, any advice you would like to give me, feel free to put it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you'd like to check out any of my other videos, you can head over to my channel. And if you enjoy what you see, you can hit the subscribe button and follow along with more of my garden renovation series or any of my other long care videos. And thanks for watching.